Contingency tables. Earlier we looked at frequency distributions as a way of studying one variable or data element. To compare results of two or more variables, such as performance level and student gender, two frequency distributions, one for females and one for males, could be generated and lined up side by side. An even simpler approach is to do a contingency table, also referred to as a cross-tabulation. A contingency table is an arrangement of data in a two-dimensional classification scheme represented by rows and columns. Figure A3 is a contingency table showing the frequencies and percentages of student performance levels by gender. The table is arranged with the data for gender in the columns and the data for performance level in the rows. The differences in the performance levels between females and males is readily apparent in both the counts and percentages, especially in performance levels 2, 3, and 4. If necessary, a clustered bar chart can be generated from a contingency table. Figure A4 is a clustered bar chart illustrating the contingency table in figure A3. Contingency tables are used extensively in data analysis and research and can be used with almost any type of quantitative data. The importance of contingency tables is that they begin the process of comparing groups to determine if any differences exist. In social science research, a good deal of statistical analysis examines the differences in how different groups of individuals and organizations perform and respond in certain situations, such as with student testing, elections, health, and medical conditions.